In this video, we'll take a look at how Image Labeler works with images such as those used for the visual learning kinds of programs. These visual learning programs have images that occur in the biological hierarchy. That is, images are named hierarchically. So in biology, we have things that are um, organisms which are occur in a family, a genus, a species, etc. And there are higher levels of the category beyond family. But visual learning works with family, genus, and species. The programs will work with any kind of image that you can put in a hierarchy like that. So let's take a look at how image labor works with programs like that. We've got a set of test images here, images test two. Let's take a look at those. These are pictures of Brazilian plants. And in this case, I have a database created. I've just typed D on the keyboard to jump down to get to that database. Let's open it and see what's in there. There's actually a lot in this database. The first column is called ID, and it's got the name of the file there. So these have relatively long file names. These are the names of the images. Then it's got a common name field, when the common names in this case are none. I don't know any of the common names of these Brazilian plants. Then there are genus, a genus column, and that's completely populated. The species column is completely populated. The family column, again, is completely populated. And now we've got a column called morphology. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see there's a bunch of blanks there. That's the column we're going to work on. We're going to label these images by what is shown in the image. There's also some other columns here, genus and family, the videos that explain the visual learning programs, explain what those are for. And then there's some common name files here, or some common name columns, and we have left those all blank in this case. In some of the other visual learning programs for use in the United States and Australia, these common name columns are populated. So that's our beginning state for our database. We're going to close it without saving it. We're going to go back up and start Image Labeler. And now we're going to select our images, test two. And now it recognizes, Image Labeler recognizes that there's already a database in there. It looks for the file name database.csv. If it finds it, it opens it. And so now we can see here's our images displayed for that database. And here are the fields we have, ID, common name, genus, species, family, morphology, and then genus, family name, and the other common name fields. We're going to go back to morphology. We're going to go down to the first big blank set of blanks down here, and we can now start naming these fields. So this is a picture of the whole plant. I'm going to use the arrow key to go down to the next field. And here we have a flower, or an inflorescence, really. Flower. This is a tough one. It's kind of early fruiting stage. Some of the images are very hard to categorize. I'm just going to call it fruit. It's not perfect. But you get the, you get the idea here. This one does have some fruits in it, but it's got more of the stem, so um, stem with leaves. So it's good to have standardized names for these kinds of fields, for the morphology field. I do have those, and I'm trying to use them now, like stem with leaves and whole plant. Okay, that's all we're going to do here. We're just going to save this, exit image labeler, go back to our images, type D to get down to our database, open the database again and now if we found our morphology field and go down we see that the images that I just entered are there. So that's how Image Labeler works. This database can then be brought directly into the visual learning program. Don't have to re-import the, the uh, images, they are already there and you're set to go.